Greenwashing is making a product or a company sound greener than it actually is. Okay, so, and as I said, most greenwashing, I believe, is inadvertent. We cannot equate an Energy Star label with green. It does not necessarily mean the whole product is green. The whole product is green when the whole product is green. That's just greener, because it's perhaps. energy. Greener, that's what I use in the book. Can you speak a little bit more about the difference between marketing and education or the confluence of marketing and education? The, the intersection of education and marketing comes because most green products are actually ahead of the consumer. So those businesses that are marketing products usually have to educate the consumer about a problem that they don't know they have, okay? And a technology they've never heard of, and likely a brand name or a company they've never heard of either. So education has to be part of the marketing. So the best we can do is educate consumers about their choices and let them know that it's okay to have a repertoire of choices. Very simplistically, oversimplistically stated. Diapers. How many people here think, this is not, this is a little bit of a trick question, but play along with me. How many people here think cloth diapers are better for the environment than disposable? Come on, you're among friends. Okay, how many people think disposable might be better? You may think disposable might be better? Okay, you might have a good reason why that is. Okay, I maintain the answer is dep it depends. No pun intended. Okay, they're not even depends anymore. There's a new name for them, but anyway, that's another story. Now, I believe that it depends. If you're in the East Coast where we have plenty of water and no landfill, use cloth. But if you're in the Southwest where there's no water, and bringing in water could create more of an environmental problem than just digging a hole, use disposable. Wow. The Who Killed the Electric Car was the marketing department of General Motors because they put out a car that only traveled 60 miles on a charge and it took 12 hours to recharge the car. Now, why the marketing department's at fault and not the product development people who put out a car that got 12 hours of charging and 60 miles on the charge is they did not position it correctly. It should have been positioned as short hops right. around the neighborhood, okay? Mm -hmm. Or part of a car sharing program where if you just need a car for the afternoon to go shopping, you buy that electric car. It's a lot of this is how, this is what I do for a living, it's how you position the product, okay? So I believe the same strategies that are used for just market positioning, 7-Up, the Uncola, okay? So the General Electric car is, is the un-car for family vacations. It's the, it's the car you use when you're tooling around the neighborhood. So we have to match the technology with the market needs. And when we can do that, we'll solve a lot of environmental problems. These things are not cut and dried, it's not one size fits all. So you have to figure out what's green for you in your situation. That the best judge of what is green is a consumer.